Hey everyone, welcome back to Pongo City. It's Alyssa and we are starting fresh with Survival Fountain of Youth. I just decided after playing that first time and then a little after that, I just wanted to start brand new again. Now that I know a bunch of things. So here we are. I'm just gonna collect some of this stuff here. I ended up going with the bag again and the iron axe. I almost was going to pick either the jacket, the fishing pole, or maybe the medicine, but I just went with the axe. So we'll see. Interested to see maybe what you guys picked and why. So leave a comment below if you pick something different because I want to see maybe there's a, a perk to something else because I know you can build an axe right away. So I don't know. Maybe you can't chop down things, certain things with the smaller axe. So. I don't know. Interested to see what p other people will pick. All right, just collecting some of these narrow leaves. Um, I thought there were coconuts somewhere. Oh, over here. Okay, so if you take a look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see your stats for your health, your food, your thirst, and your energy. Right now, we're doing pretty good. Maybe a little hungry, but we'll figure that out. Um, not really worried about it doing pretty well at the top left hand side of the screen You'll see your Sun exposure and that's pretty important because you get sunburned real fast And it'll go away in the shade, which is kind of good. All right. Just want to hit up these boxes Usually there's like an apple. Yep A Little piece of bread somewhere. I think in oh get that I think over here Yep, piece of bread. Grab that and that. Another stick. Um, so if you look at the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see your objective. Um, right now we need to find the pictured grotto. So that is going to be the cave that's near the whale bones, which if you, when you first start, it's to the right. Um, it's pretty easy to get to, but there are scorpions. You nasty. But you need to be ready to fight. Um, there it is. Another bread. Okay, very nice. Let's uh, keep moving here. I do kind of want a long spear. But, oh, okay, green coconut. If you see those, take them because you get thirsty real fast. And you have to kind of sparingly use them because you'll give yourself a stomach ache. But it's definitely doable. Let's go up this way. Maybe we can find a tree with a long stick. Eventually we're going to need that tree there, but... Let's see. Is this tobacco? Yeah. Okay, this is good for sunburns. Oh, just got it. Alright, so... Poor me. Got a sunburn. There are creepy crawlies around here, so we gotta be careful. Wide leaf is good. Okay, phew. Oh, shut up. There's one of these assholes around. Can I do anything with this? I see you. They see you some from so far away. Oh god, is that a boar? Uh-uh. Get right out of here. Grab this. I'll be good for tinder. Oh. I think maybe these are the trees. Chamomile? Yes, please. Oh god, I'm getting hot. Quick, into the shade. Okay. Yes! Okay. Get three of these. Nice. Alright. While we're in the shade, let's craft... Ah! Alright, and to get into your craft... Alright, so what you're going to want to do, um, to get into your crafting menu, uh, press Q. And it's going to bring up the different things you can build. So the left-hand side, you'll see all the different categories. Um, we're looking for a weapon, so um, we're going to go with wooden spear. It's not very strong. 
but you know, it's something. Um, stone spear is a little bit better, but you do need, I think, the rope, Liana rope, and that's a pain to get because there's a, a hog, little hog there. So, um, all right, if we press two, yep, it's quick slotted. Nice. Um, all right, we don't need anything there. I mean, these leaves are great to get, so let me just grab them. Sage. I don't remember what this does. Alright, let's get in the shade. Rest here for a second. Let's see. Let's pull out our mollusk. Got a couple of those. Oh god. The sound of mosquitoes. I feel like we're all traumatized by that sound. Um, let's get one of these green coconuts going. And I guess we can have a little treat to celebrate. And let's eat one of our mollusks. Where are you? I'll just stay with one. Okay. Rock pile. grab a couple of these. Alright, let's head to that grotto. We'll be ready to go. We can stay the night there. So once the sun starts setting, looks like it's easier to move around because we're not so at risk. All right, I think around this corner is the grotto. Yep, you'll see the whale bones and you know you're, you're in the right spot. So you just need to be aware of scorpions. Is this going to be really dark? Oh, it's not too bad. Alright, let's pick up these potato mushrooms. <laughs> Crouch here just for safety purposes. Um, let's go for this guy first. Nice. Like a sniper. Where's this last one? Okay. So there's only three, right? Okay, yeah. Alright, let's get the fire going here. Um, oh. Alright, let's make the fire starter. This might be dangerous at night. Yeah, 21% risk. Ooh, a little snort from Pongo. Okay, we're good. Alright, so let's add some fuel. Let's just do... Yeah, that's good. Um, Alright. Not bad. Alright, let's get to cooking while we're here. This will take 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Um, let's do... Yeah. We'll get the poison. So the scorpion will make, um, what is this thing called? Processed scorpion venom. So that's good if you get poisoned. Chamomile is good if you have an upset stomach. So we'll make one of those. And we need mapping charcoal. We can do that in the morning. Um, and let's just make a bandage while we're at it. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. Can I craft a... Or is it too dark? Let's see. I wanted to make some... Oh, because it's light in here, huh? So we're good. I'm going to make some sandals first. It's always nice to have something on your feet. Make a skirt. Let's make a hat. Oh! Okay, so I hurt myself while working, but I'm sick. So... Let's see. Oh, I sustained an injury. So am I both sick and... Okay, let's look. So I have a minor cut. It's dark. 
Oh, my fire went out. I have a sunburn, and I'm just suffering because I was near death. Okay, well, that's ridiculous. Um, do I need to do anything to this cut? I guess I should use my bandage. All right, inventory. Where's my bandage? There it is. Use it. Okay, so my minor cut disappeared. Health recovery. All right, let's um, let's sleep and then we'll we'll do that. All right. Night nights. Um, we'll sleep for four hours, even though we're gonna lose some daylight. What's that sound? Okay, sun's coming up. Let's take a look at this map here. Um, that's where the Santiago sank. Perhaps there is still something useful there. Oh, so maybe we're gonna go swimming. Um, let's read the letter from the captain. Well, Captain Juan Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. Okay, so I'm not going to read this whole thing, but basically our captain survived, and he had a spyglass, he left it somewhere, um, and we're going to go look for it, and I guess once we have it, we can go find a perfect perch to go look around. Alright, so let's get the living water that's here. I'm leaving this bottle of living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health if their ship wrecks. Good luck to you, friend. Let's ingest that right now. All right, so it's down here under special resources. Took me forever to find it before. And look at us, we are feeling good. We are starvacious, but we're feeling good. Um, let's eat a crab while we're in this menu. Okay, let's have another. Feeling a little better. What about a loaf? The loaf lasts a long time though, we shouldn't use that. Let's have a mollusk. Okay. All right, so looking at the map, this is where we're gonna need to find the spyglass. Um, two water sources on the map. So I think I wanna go the beach way. I think it's gonna be safer. This, you're gonna have to go through the jungle and I'm not interested in the jungle. Plus, like this looks like a safer water source so maybe we can build in this area. Um, okay, so once I round the bend, it's kind of a ways down, almost before the last turn. All right, we'll see if I can find it. All right, so I think we're pretty much good to go here. Let's just collect anything that's left. All right, if we cut this down, what do we get? Bone. Do I have a cutter? No, but let's get a cutter. Um, tools? Yep, stone cutter, we have a stone. Okay. Alright, we got a bone. I don't know what that does yet. I guess we'll cut this down while we're here. Okay. I think we're good. Some more wood. Can't go wrong with wood around here. Well, it looks like it's a stormy day. Um, any green coconuts around here? We do get thirsty, so let's um, make a coconut water here. Coconut. And let's have a drink before we head out. 
Okay. We'll eat along the way. We got this douchebag here. Oh, the turtle is there, but I already, um, I killed the turtle and I felt terrible about it, so I'm not going to do it. The poor thing's like, meh. So I'm not interested in hurting him. I feel like I've murdered enough sea turtles in the forest, so. Um, is that a big picture of a fish? This must be a fishing spot here. Yep. Okay. Oh, a fishing stand? Alright, so I don't have a rod. I do have bait though. But, um, look at that. I wonder. We're just gonna have to do it. Sun came out. Okay. Alright, well, that's just too bad. Looks like you can't kill the fish just out of the, the water. Alright, let's leave and continue on. Looks like, like I didn't even pull up my spear, so you can't even have it on you in the water. That kind of stinks. I'm over encumbered now. If you look at the top left, you'll see that weight there. Um, let me go into the shade and see what I can get rid of. Is it because I'm wet? <sighs> like, I didn't think I was too heavy. But I am picking up every leaf. <laughs> Alright, maybe let's make some clothes. Do I have any other? I just need to make sure I have. Oh, I got a lot of these. Okay. Oh. See, these take the same. Oh, all right, let's make a skirt. Love it. Okay, and you can see, yep, I got my skirt on, my sandals. Oh, how into my hat? I never built it. Crafting equipment. Leaf hat. Okay, let's get that on. Necessary. All right, that looks good. Um, all right, we're underweight now. We should be good. Okay. I like how my skin looks wet too. I wonder if I'll dry faster in the sun. Oh, this looks like. Oh god. I hope this isn't some creepy altar. Sacrifice people into the ocean? Probably. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is looking pretty legit. Oh, yeah, it definitely was somewhere where they pushed people off. Alright, let's look at that first and then we can. Okay, so they bring the slave or the, the person who, let's say he's a bad person, the criminal. They did something with blood. They made him drink the blood. And then they pushed him off. Oh, so like a little sacrificial thing to the gods. That's nice. He probably wanted to do it then. I'm, he I'm heavy again. What did I pick up? I think it should be in the shade for this. Oh, Whew, thank god. Alright. Why? Okay, let's look at our status. Soaked? Okay, I'm soaked. I'm at risk of catching runny nose. Oh, if I already have a flu, it will get worse. I should try and stay dry and undercover, preferably by fire to avoid getting sick. Blocks, natural recovery, flu worsening. You'd think, though, like, in the sun... What we need it is 39. Okay, so I am too heavy. Um, Alright, what can I drop here? Oh, it's this dog probably, huh? Oh, I have like five of these. Alright, so I can craft a shirt then. Okay, and then I'll have plenty for the bed. Yeah, okay. And now we're way better. Oh, 
<laughs> Spooky. Piece of native's map. Oh, I collected it. Let's take a look. Oh, why is it not there? Okay, whatever. Oh, I have to... I'll do the map eventually. I should have done that actually while I was back there. Maybe there's another tree around. So with the mapping charcoal... Did I make it? Maybe I didn't make it. No, I thought I did. The mapping charcoal will let you... Um, you have to go to high ground. So usually it's like a tree and you build this little ladder and then it will map out all the resources near you, which is kind of nice. Like different, like the big branches or long sticks, like where you'll be able to find things like that, which is like really helpful. Oh. Is that like some sort of messed up bird nest? Is this thing I'm trying to... Whoa, what the fuck, pterodactyl? Jesus Christ. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Did I get you? Yeah. Harpy. That's it? Just a feather. Alright. That's fine. Is there eggs in his little nest? Yeah. Oh shit. Nice. Okay. Um, I just need a nice little place to lay a bed. Ugh. Shut up, stupid dog. Okay, let's set up a bed here. Guess we feel safe by the ocean. Sleep for a whole eight hours. Nice. Okay. Right eggs. Yum. Alright, what do we have to eat? I guess we can eat one of these breads. Mollusk. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good today. You know, I'm wondering if that's the shipwreck. Do you see that little thing sticking up right there? I wonder if that's a shipwreck. Oh, this is one of those trees you can climb. All right, so let me get over there. Oh, these are the prickly. Don't run into these things coming up here. They got prickles and they get you. They're really scary looking to be honest. This is kind of a cool area. Is this, what kind of tree is this? Apple tree? I don't know what kind of fruit that is. You can die. Oh, fuck me. I guess I can die. Where's me? <laughs> Stupid dog. I am like too heavy. What kind of tree is this? Plutonia. I don't know. Let's just harvest one. See what. What do we do with that? Just eat it raw? I'll just eat one. Okay. And then let's get some of this fruit. And then what does this do? 
Feo Feo Feijoa? I don't know. I'll give this some water. A little bit more water than food. Okay. I do have these dogs that are really weighing me down. Um, okay, do I... How do I make this a... Uh, okay, place ladder. So, E. Did I not place it? Rope? Oh my god, come on. So I can't do that yet. Ugh. Alright, so I guess you need rope, which you need the liana tree. Which is, I don't know, I, I only found it in the jungle. Towards where we were in the very beginning, so... There's that. Oh, one of those stupid dogs. I almost like this area for building. This could be a cool area to start. Oh my god. Jerks. Whoa. Bird built himself a fence with a skull. Is that a chicken? Um, let's build a fire here. It's a little random, but this is a cool area. All right, crafting. Where do you? Where's fires? Fire, campfire. I guess we'll just build the base. No, I want this one. Base. Okay, I need th two more stones. Alright, let's hope there's something here on this beach. It's kind of hard to find stone. Yeah, this might be a good spot to set up because we can uh, maybe explore that ship over there. Maybe there's, if there's a fishing spot, that'd be great. Not that I'm ready for that, but... Yes! Okay, so there's a fishing spot over here too. This might be a prime little location. Okay, we got a stone. Where are you? sucks. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here just so we can leave you with some suspense. Am I ever gonna get this fire built? Am I ever gonna cook the food I have? I don't know. So hopefully you'll be checking in to the next episode of this series and we'll see if we finally find that fresh water somewhere. As always, thanks again for watching and supporting our channel. If you made it this far, leave a comment below and let us know what you like so far about Survival Fountain of Youth. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Pongo City if you want to see more. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.